Going back to the very beginning in February when this all sort of came crashing down on me and everything and all the thoughts, all the thoughts over my entire life were just like, here we are. So I think, I really do think I'm going to wind up. I mean, the first thing, I do want to do hormone replacement therapy. I do want to start taking the uh, estradiol or whatever in the... Um, spiralactone or however you say them testosterone blockers and um, estrogen basically and that will make me produce the female hormone estrogen and uh, well it'll give it to me and it'll block testosterone from coming from because when you introduce estrogen a man's body is just gonna produce testosterone along with it kind of like when you smoke weed that increases like the sex hormones and everything when you so smoke weed but, uh, yeah, I want to do hormone replacement therapy, but I do think I'm going to wind up, like, getting surgeries to the uh, orchiectomy and the vaginoplasty. I really think that's going to wind up happening. I'm not super, like, I actually don't mind if I get, like, um, I don't care if I get it looking just like a vagina and if I get it, like, uh, where you're like, uh, what do you call it? Like, if you're like gauging it to like make, make it so something can go in there. I'm not as interested in that. That could be a thing and I'll do it. If that's the way to do it, I'll do it. That's fine. If I want to have it so something can be inserted there, that works. But like, I would honestly, even if all it is, is just take off my balls and dick and just that's just no more balls and dick that would still be enough for me like it's not that's not part of my gender dysphoria having uh, like not having a vagina is not part of it because that's hidden i'm not gonna have after this stuff i'm not really gonna have sex or anything really my biggest things are like covering up my facial hair having a little bit of boobage I don't want a lot because I don't want to, I usually lay on my stomach or sides to sleep so I don't want like these giant boobs. I just want, I want to have a nice like something there. But yeah, I do, the more I think about it, I do think I'm going to wind up getting the orchiectomies. Well, I've already had one orchiectomy because I got torsion and I lost my left testicle. So now it's just like take out the fake left testicle, take out the right one, take out the penis and shape it into a vagina and we're done. It's a lot of work, and it's a, a very painful recovery. I know that I've heard it from everybody that's had it has said that it's 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 tough. But you know what? Like, it'll make me feel better. It'll be nice. I, I mean, yes, I am very grateful for all sorts of things. I'm grateful for the life I have. I'm grateful for all that I have. But you know what? Why not just do everything we can in our power to just feel okay, just to feel all right, you know? Some people require different things that others don't. Some people are totally fine in their skin and everything, and some people aren't. I do think I'm going to end up doing these surgeries, and I'm definitely doing the hormone replacement therapy. It's just money, though. It sucks, dude. I wish, you know, it was just, I wish I worked somewhere where it's just like, I made so much money, you know? I wish I worked at a place that was like 25 an hour or something. <laughs> It'd be sweet. I'm not going to college, you know, I, I'm a high school dropout, but still, it'd be cool if just, like, every place played, paid enough to, like, get everything you ever needed, you know, it'd be cool, anyway, I love you all, have good times, take care of yourself when you're able to, wish me luck, and, uh, yeah, I love you all.